what's up guys so the fact that i didn't drop this video right when this unit was announced says a lot right if you know me at all um but i will talk about her since she comes out uh probably later today when you're watching this um so we have command model leica here um incredible design was really looking forward to this unit like i don't, I don't want to say i'm disappointed right with how they did her because i think us as a community now we're we're kind of at the point where we expect everything to be busted so when they release just like an okay unit like we complain but then they release busted unit after busted unit and we complain i'm not gonna complain i'm just gonna give you my thoughts on the unit as she is i'm not gonna complain that she sucks this is what it is like you know the game like her her design's amazing she's usable in some content in the game i'm sure i don't think every unit that comes out should be must pull top of the meta unit and i think us as a community we've kind of gotten to that point where we expect that in every unit to come out and it's kind of like pulled us away from what brought our attention to this game in the first place uh what initially attracted me to this game was not rta because rta didn't exist i really like the art in this game i really like the skill animations i like the effort um, I'm not huge in lore or anything, but like the game looks really good. It's still the best gotcha game out there, right? So if we get an okay unit, it's not the end of the world. Let's not complain about it. Like honestly, right? Moving forward here, let's kind of talk about her, her skill kit. I, th I like this expression a, a hell of a lot more than this one. Not this one. Than this. But yeah, this looks cool. I guess this is her artifact, right? So here's, here's her base stats, right? I believe this is SSB stats, which aren't bad. The fact that you see effectiveness here in her awakenings and in her imprints, um, all is effectiveness. You know she's going to have debuffs. She's going to provide debuffs, right? These base stats are okay. 114's base speed isn't bad. The attack isn't bad. The health, is, health and defenses are kind of lacking, right? But yeah, let's move forward. So we have her skill three here. Uh, volley fire shoots out all wings to attack all enemies with a 75% chance to decrease speed for two turns and 50% chance to put them to sleep for one turn before granting immunity to all allies for two turns. And that effect goes up. So it goes up to 100% chance to decrease speed. Speed down is a very powerful debuff in PvP and PvE content. Okay, And sleep is a pretty powerful debuff as well, but... Granting immunity to yourself after sleeping your opponent is kind of counterintuitive because you're going to lose a duration of that immunity anyways, right? That's what a lot of people don't really like about her kit, right? If she stripped with this, I think she would be on par with a lot of units in the game. If she stripped with this, it's just a better Sage Ball S2. Like, it's it's a really crazy Sage Ball S2. Like, imagine if Sage Ball granted you immunity and put speed down on him, right? That would be so busted. Like, honestly. Like, Sage Ball is really good already. And, like, this is basically his S2. It's just kind of a little bit different, right? It's got a skill cooldown de er, decrease by two turns. So you can do this every three turns, which makes it interesting. I will say, like, this ability, it's, it's not a bad ability for PvP. But the issue is she doesn't have a strip, right? And we're just at a point in the game where, like... If you don't strip in addition to you do your debuffs, you know, like Ran or uh, basically, you know, like Ran's like the perfect example. Basar is not really the example anymore, but like like Emma Lilius, uh, I will keep saying Ran over and over and over again. Um, Ran does this, but better, right? Then you have units like Bryceria. She has the strip as well. And she also does like unbuffable and attack down, right? But she comes with the strip before doing her own debuffs. Um, I just think that units that do debuffs that don't have a strip included just don't fit into the game anymore. And that's no one's fault but Smilegates because they release those units. And it pushes units like this aside because you would never pick this unit over one of those. That's why Silver Blade Araminta isn't good, right? That's why no one really uses her. If she had a strip built in, she would be completely busted. And that's just kind of what they do they've done and it sucks that's kind of where the game ended up maybe if they never made units and honestly this started with Basar. Basar was a very big problem in this game for a very long time i still don't like that unit 
you know, he literally gives me PTSD. And it started with him. And it was downhill from there. Like, when they included the strips, like, I remember when that guy got buffed. And I specifically remember my old guild, li or my, I was in Veritas at the time. I remember my guild leader, Lilac, who quit the game. Um, if you're unfamiliar who, with who that is, he's Ulu12. If you go to the, uh, the arena rankings and you go all the way down to the first season, he was number two, the first season of arena. He said this unit was going to be the most busted unit in the game. And he held that title until he got power crept, right? Basar was like the best PvP unit in the game. And, um, of course, he got power crept. And then basically, and, but now they're going back to release units that are like bef before that time, right? And like Laika back then would have been insane, right? But right now she just doesn't really fit in the direction of the game, which is just kind of unfortunate. I fully expect this unit like with community outrage will probably get a buff and she probably eventually will get a strip attached to this ability and it'll be a stacked ability and it'll be busted. And she'll be overtuned just like Violet was when he got his buff, right? It's going to happen with her eventually. It's probably not going to be for several months, though. Because uh, unless they they just buff her immediately um, following community backlash. And then we're just still on that trend where every unit that comes out is busted. Um, Zahak, I think, is a very fair and balanced unit. The problem is there's too many busted units in the game for him to really shine, right? I think Zahak is a really greatly designed unit. Like people are like, his S2 sucks, but like I see a lot of utility in his S2. Um, there's a lot of utility in this character's S2 as well, which we'll talk about here in a second, but they're just outshined by all these other units in the game. It's just how it is, you know? And I think the only way they could really fix that is by nerfing. Even just small nerfs, like Rimuru, and, you know, there's, there's a lot of units in the game that are just like, they do too much. And honestly, that started with Basar. When they started giving units that debuff their own strip, I think that's where it started. And there's units like Politus, right? Like reactionary units. It's not good. It's all how busted Carrot was. She has her own... She Before, she didn't have her own strip. And they gave her her own strip. She got a lot better in addition to everything else they gave her. But that's really what pushed her over the edge, right? Is her own strip. All these units that do a strip into debuffs are very strong, right? Just go back, go and look at any of them. They've all been really powerful at one point in the game. And any of them that aren't power, like, powerful right now, and those, like the ones I'm thinking of like are mainly Basar and um, Ephlitica, is because they've got power crept out of the meta by something that's just better, right? But those units were the pinnacle at one point. It's because they strip into debuffs, um, which is very strong in this game. If you just do one of those things, you're not really a good unit. Okay, that's why like, like Harado, right? He just kind of strips. He doesn't get used though, because he doesn't really do anything after that. Same thing with like, like Broman kind of, he kind of fell off because he doesn't really do much after that. He just kind of does a little strip. He might silence or something, but he's got power crap to buy, you know, just units that do that better. So she's just, I don't know. She's, this isn't her time. She was, she should have been released like a year ago, two years ago. Uh, well, we will check out her S3. It does look sick. Um, the fact they show her in Katie's here is really weird. Um, I'm guessing she, she's meant to sleep the ads. That's what the S3 is for. She sleeps the ads so you don't have to deal with the dual attacks. You take less damage. And then she does reset this timer with her S2. So maybe like she is just a Katie's unit. Maybe that was her intent. And she will do very good at that, I think. And I don't see why she wouldn't. People are like, well, sleep is useless in PvE. Sleeping adds in boss fights, like in Abyss, and then and in areas like this, it's actually a really powerful mechanic to take advantage of. It's sleep, because it's basically a stun, right? It's a sick animation, though. She didn't even... Oh, they're immune to sleep. So I actually just trolled myself. Well, some units in Abyss aren't. <laughs> so I guess, like, the sleep is irrelevant in here. I don't even know why they show her in Katie's. I guess just because she can reset her danger level with her S2. Her S2 is really nice, but that's odd. Okay, here's the S2. Selects an enemy with a 100% chance to target them for two turns. Increases attack of the ally except for the caster with the highest attack for two turns. Decreases their school skill cooldown by one turn. And then triggers a dual attack. Um, this is a very good ability. 
Honestly, if they had her uh, Soul Burn onto this ability instead of her S3, I think she'd be a little bit better. And there's some cool artifacts you kind of use her with, like Un Unseen Observer. Um, I don't think her artifact is like the best for her. We'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. I think Un Unseen Observer could be interesting. But yeah, it just feels odd. Because this implies like reduce reducing a cooldown of somebody means like you want her to go after somebody. And that could be... Hmm. Like maybe that with a Ravi is pretty good. Landing a target and then giving an attack buff is something is good, but it's it's just it doesn't feel like it's gonna be practical in, in RTA. At least not in this meta. This meta is disgusting. Um they kind of show it here, right? So lands the target, gets a dual attack. And then she basically has a gimped version of ML Carrick's S1. Which is nice for rotating, right? I mean cool. Um, you can run like her on Confeet, maybe. Or something like that. But she just pushes your units. Which is, it's just kind of nice. It's not a badass one. And then we have the, um, artifact here. After using non-attack skill, grants barrier equivalent to 20% of the caster's max health at plus 30. Um, to all allies for, oh, it's all allies for two turns. This effect can only be activated once every three turns and can only apply to one hero within a team. So you can't use like uh multiple copies of this artifact like you can't throw yuna like a flan all on one team all with this artifact on and get constant barriers that's basically what's saying you can't do that but um i don't think this artifact's amazing maybe on a tanky flan it would be okay but i still think an unseen observer is just better slotted in any team that's gonna be like the extra souls at least it's from a pvp perspective um pve perspective I don't know. Uh, maybe the barrier will help you a little bit, but I, I don't. Why would you use that? Like you just use like Infinity Basket and get extra push on your team. You know, and that's a four star artifact. Uh, but it's very strange. It's a strange unit. She looks really cool. Um, I, there, there may be some use that we're not seeing. C Saria is an example that I'm always gonna fall back on. Right? People said she sucked because she didn't strip first. Now she's like one of the biggest problems with the game. Because Ran came out. This unit might be just as good with Ran as Cesaria is. To be honest. We, we just don't know yet, right? Because she's not out. She might fit into that draft. Um, people, like, myself included, thought Jay Kisei's buff was going to be trash. She fits in that draft. This unit can arguably fit into a closer Charles draft, too. Target's pretty nice. Let's you hit those evasion units. And it's not, it's not a s attack skill. So, like, if you're running, like, a Charles Cleave, and you have her slotted in your team after they drafted, like, a Violet or a Rylet, right? You you open with your Charles, you use her S2, and then Charles smashes one of the Violets. Like, I, I do see some uses in here. And then, you know, with Unseen Observer, she rotates a little bit faster. Um, maybe you have their team locked down with something, like like Lilius gives like a tack down and then you can follow up with her. I think there there might be some use to her that I'm seeing. Uh, I don't know how practical it's going to be. I don't know how good it's going to be. Um, I'm not going to say she's dog shit because I, I honestly don't think she's dog shit. Uh, I think she would have been a lot better in a different meta with less power creep. But I think there might be somewhere where she can still fit in because her skill set really isn't it isn't that bad, right? The problem is everything else is just that good. And that's just where we're at. I don't know how many times I've said that. But that's my thoughts on her. Do I think you should pull her? Honestly, I, I think I, I pull every new unit that comes out. Because you never know what's going to happen. Everyone said don't pull for, pull for M.O. Kerouac. Right? Where are all you guys at now? They didn't pull for him. Because <laughs> honestly, that guy is fun as fuck to play with. And he's one of the strongest units in the game now. And I guarantee you, a lot of the YouTubers you guys watch said don't pull him. So, I'm going to say just use your best judgment. Uh, I recommend pulling every new unit because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to find out. Um, if you're limited on your resources and there's other things you want to prioritize getting first, prioritize those. Right? If you're late game, new units are always fun to play with to figure stuff out with. If they don't work, it's off to the waiting room, right? Well, that's all I got to say. 
Uh, leave me a like if you enjoyed the video. I try to take a look, just a little different perspective on this one. I'm tired of being so negative all the time, right? I'm just going to say things how they are. There's no point getting emotional about it anymore. Like, I, I like the game, but I'm not going to let the game bother me. I'm tired of letting stuff bother me, right? Um, but yeah, drop me a like. I appreciate it. And uh, drop me a sub if you're new here. I appreciate that as well. Uh, Lilia's song is coming very soon. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.